Hello, you beautiful legends, and welcome to Bloom Force Healing Podcast. This is episode number 788, and it's my third take in order to record this episode. First one got disrupted by jacuzzi that for some reason turned itself on. I believe that's just to mix the water and not let it get stalled and, you know, moldy. But I wasn't expecting it, so it kind of took me by surprise. Uh, Let me switch the camera now. That's better. As you could see, uh, we have a fireplace here. It's a very nice house with some kind of modern and spacious uh, interior. Uh, We rented that for the next four nights, but I'll be talking about it in the next episode. Today, I just wanted to record it and make sure that I update you on the technically second day on Tenerife, but first full day that we were able to actually enjoy Tenerife or try to explore a little bit. Uh, So without too much of talking, uh, previous episode I uh, recorded with Julian and we spoke a little bit about the exhausting first day of a trip. So we didn't get a chance to really Uh, experience or explore or enjoy anything we just wanted to go to sleep Uh, but we had that company just above us and even though it's fairly expensive resort it seems like you know some people don't spare money on celebrating and I understand celebration but these guys Unfortunately, we're also Polish people like us. And I know our culture likes to celebrate birthdays and expensive holidays a lot. And also mm, with alcohol as a, uh, an element of the whole thing, that doesn't make it any better. So they were pretty loud. I didn't want to interrupt i don't know it's just not my character but at some stage it was already past the interior the resort hours the quiet hours so i rang the reception and told them that uh, they could do something about it at least you know quieten them a little bit Uh, it seems like it quietened for a moment but then it came back up fortunately elizabeth and julian were so tired that they went to sleep uh, regardless and they were able to sleep normally but i had some troubles so i was wandering around um, the the whole resort and before i went to sleep uh, it was probably about 3 a.m but we woke up fairly refreshed Um, we went for a nice breakfast enjoyed a lot of fresh food many local foods and juices and everything was fairly fresh it was a nice restaurant so uh, it was a good part of it Uh, later on we went for a quick drive. We thought it would be quick drive, but we decided to um, explore a little bit. So before doing that, we, Julian and myself, we uh, tested both drones. Julian was kind of doing a little bit of footage with DJI Neo, and I did a little bit from uh, Air 3S and 
the footage was decent, especially at night. It was amazing what this drone could be or could do. Um, we were pretty much in the area that was last um, outpost for uh, southwestern and western in general area of Tenerife because it was pretty much cut down by or cut off from the rest of north by a massive um, area of mountains and also the cliffs they're massive cliffs they are called Los Gigantes obviously giants and it was amazing to be able to see them as part of the stunning view at the ocean they were on the right hand side and then in front of us across the ocean we could see another uh, island from Canaries uh, La Gomera so while the I can complain about the price and whatever the resort and standard of the resort was the views were definitely uh, something to to enjoy but we drove to uh, kind of behind the Los Gigantes up the mountains and explored a little bit uh, we visited the Masca which is a small village uh, in the middle of the mountains on a certain ridge uh, in between the mountains so we spent a little bit of time there but it's very touristic so we didn't want to uh, get there for too long and later on we drove to the very north to see some natural tidal pools we found one decent tidal pool but the area was a little bit creepy and kind of abandoned it was not many people out there definitely not touristic at all so we just enjoyed the, the views and then we drove pretty much back home or back to los gigantes we were quite hungry so we wanted to go for some dinner we found the pizzeria or kind of italian restaurant that looked decent or at least we were hopeful it would be nice and when we started with the drinks they were okay but the food was average at best and it was a bit of disappointment so even though we weren't super satisfied we ate fairly well and returned to the hotel uh, our friends up there seemed to slow down and were already probably tired after the first night so they weren't loud enough anymore so we didn't care that much and we had a fairly nice evening uh, which Julian and myself we closed with a short walk to Little and back to get some groceries some water some juices and just get a bit of fresh air at night which was nice to to do so that was pretty much our first day not very exciting but we saw el teide which is the volcano the top of um tenerife and we des definitely will go to el teide not sure if we will get to the very peak i will explain that later in the next uh, couple of episodes why it is so difficult to get to the peak it's it's not difficult to walk to the peak but there are some restrictions that are being enforced by the spanish government so that's it for today thank you very much for tuning in have a great rest of the day afternoon evening wherever you are stay tuned and see you again tomorrow